Hey y'all, it's me, the Brittany B, and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. I get a lot of questions on the regular about fashion, clothes, shoes, my closet in particular, um, travel, where I go, what I do, behind the scenes. Um, and so I decided to create this YouTube channel to kind of let you guys in on my personal life, um, as well as my business life, and everything else that I have going on. Um, so I'm glad you guys decided to join me. My first video today is going to be my closet. Ha <laughs> ha, my closet. Uh... It took me a lot of work to get this closet to where it is today. Um, so I'm happy to share it with you guys. I'm going to show you um, everything. I'm going to show you everything that I have in here. Uh, I'm, and then I'm going to end the video with my best purchase and my worst purchase. Um, and to some of you, it might it might be different. Your opinions might be different. What you like might be different. But this is my closet. This is what I like the most. This is what I like the least. Uh, and so I want you guys to kind of just... Um, so, I guess I'll start on this side of the closet. Well, first, let me show you guys the entire closet first. So as you walk into my, well, not these per se, but these are like walk Bentley shoes. If I go on walk Bentley, um, I actually want to put these on now. These are by Kappa, um, but these are my go-to like get up and go shoes um, that I wear outside to the mailbox, uh, grocery store, whatever. Anyway, um, this is my Louis Vuitton backpack. I mainly travel with this due to the size. Or like if I know I'm going somewhere to work. Um, I travel with this, like I said, due to size. It can fit a ton of stuff in it. This is my YSL. Uh, this is my YSL Weekender bag. I typically take this when I'm going to spend a day or two and I don't have to pack much. Um, I will take that. Or like to a photo shoot. Just things that it doesn't require a huge suitcase for. Um, below that is my Louis Vuitton luggage. Um that again is like if I'm going to stay a day or two somewhere, that is when I'll wear I'll travel with this. Um, it is a carry-on. If you have one of these or if you plan on purchasing one of these, do not allow them to check this bag. You do not they bang bags up and you do not want this $3,500 suitcase being banged up. Trust me, it'll piss you off. So I only take this as a carry-on. I'll back up so you guys can see. Um my favorite boots are here. These are the Alexandria Vaultier boots. These are my favorite boots of all time. I have them in every color. 
as you guys can see. Um, I'm the type of person that will take a pink one. Oh, actually, why is this like this? Lord have mercy. Sorry about that. They were in the wrong spot. But I'm the type that will take a pink one and a blue one and wear them together. So stay tuned for that. I might just do that. Um, anyway, back to my closet again. Like I mentioned, this is where I'll put like my designer pieces um, here. A lot of stuff up here I have not worn. Um, but yeah, this is where I put all of that type of stuff. Uh, what is? Oh, this is my Burberry sweater. Um, and again, down here, this is where I have like a bunch of different leggings and pants. Um, so that's where I put that. My other closet is where I put uh, my everyday stuff, my active wear, um, jeans, shorts, leggings. Everything else goes in my walk-in closet in my bedroom. But here we are. I'll back up a little more so you guys can see. This is one side of my closet. And as you guys can see, at the top is where I put my purses. These are my Givenchy boots. Louis Vuitton shoes. Oh, I used to love these desert boots up here. These are my favorite Louis Vuitton shoe, my go-to shoe. Um, I haven't worn them in a while, but... Of course, those Alexander Wayne's, Bottega's, Dolce & Gabbana, Tom Ford. Christian Dior, Burberry. These babies right here are not <laughs> a high-end design. These are by J.Lo, Jennifer Lopez. I got these in DSW um, in Atlanta, um, but I love this boot. It's a fire-ass boot. Tom Ford. Um... This is out of place, but if you know me, you know I love slides. Slides for the wintertime. I mean, for the summertime, I'm sorry. Slides all summer, boots all winter. That's how I like to dress. That's a Bottega shelf. I ran out of shelf space, so I, these are out of place up there with boots, but... My sales shelf up here. <laughs> Check those out. I love me a unique ass shoe. These are very neat. Then, and on this side of the closet, I also have boots up there, my Macy Mangellas and my Paris Texas boots. And then mainly this side is mainly sneakers and bags. Um, I have a bunch of bags on this shelf. Sneakers and then bags again. Actually, this shelf is more like fanny packs. Um, or waist belt, waist belt bags. And then let's move this cushion to your rain boots. And then the slides again. I have a ton of slides. Then we have shelf full of bags. I am now starting to double up my bags because I'm out of space to put one bag on individual shelves. So like I have a bag behind that one. A bag also goes behind this one, another Chanel bag, which I am currently carrying. I will share that with you last, but um, I'll back up so you can see this side. There's the door where I entered, and then you have that. And then I also I put a couple smaller bags up in here, and then my all of my hats go in there. I love hats. If you know me, you know I love hats. So I keep those there. Up here is where I keep... All of my perfumes, I stick with the same perfumes. I very, I very rarely change perfumes. Um, I stick with the same scents. Um, we will briefly go over those as well. Um, and then I have a little mannequin that I used to use for my cutting and sewing. 
that I put bags on. This is a like a shawl from Gucci. And then I love this Christian Dior kind of hat. Um, and I also have like a mini show here. Um, there's no real order to how I have things. It's just I did it according to how things fit on the shelves. These are my GCS GCDS boots um, that I have in two colors. This is just decoration here that I have along the side of the closet. Um, but yeah, that is, this is my closet, ladies and gentlemen. This is my newest purchase. It's a Christian Dior tote. It's only one in one of twenty in, in the United States, or I don't know if that's in the United States or all over the world or worldwide. But I have one of twenty. Um, and so yeah, this is my favorite boot. I have them in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. I have them in eight colors. I have my green. I have my royal blue. I have them in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this color. Sky blue. Um, da, 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 da. And then I have them in. This isn't their silver. They have a. Excuse me, Bentley. Stop. No. They have them in a silver color. Um, A true silver color. This is more like a metallic gray color i also had them in orange i love this color as well this orange is gorgeous another color i had them in pink and then i had them in black of course this was my first pair and i've been addicted ever since so i had them in black and then last but not least I have them in a crock uh, olive green color. I've never worn these. These are brand new. Um, but, uh, yeah. Love these too. Um, that is my favorite boot. Um, that is my favorite boot because they pop. Uh, the color selection is amazing. Um, they pop. I love the metallic um, color of them. I love the metallicness. That's not even a word. Screw that. I love, <sighs> Kamari, I'm going to kill you. Okay, I love the metallic popping colors of the, of this particular boot. Um, they're like, the shaft height is perfect. I love how high they come, but they're not too high. Um, and I literally love these because they can go either way. You can dress them up or you can dress them down. Um, you can wear them casually. This boot is the bomb. So if you don't have a pair of these, they're very limited. When they come in, you have to, when you see it, see them, when they come in, you need to make sure you grab a pair because they will sell out and they do not restock. Um, and so that's what I make sure I do. This is the point where my personal shopper sends me these. Like, hey, these are coming. So um, I make sure I'm on that list to get a pair. That's my favorite boot. Um, we're going to move on to my second favorite boot. My second favorite boot is the Givenchy Shock Lock boot. I love, 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 love this boot. This is my go-to boot. Um, again, the Alexander boots that I just previously showed you, those have a stiletto heel. Um, and so at some point, you are going to want to have a seat. They are not something you can wear uh, for six hours and be comfortable. They will eventually start to hurt like any other stiletto. Um, and so... When I hang out and I want to wear something that's a lot more comfortable, I know I'm going to be doing a lot of running around. Like, let's just say we're club hopping. For club hopping, I would put these babies on. I love this boot. This is my one of my favorite boots as well. This used to be my favorite until the Alexander Gauthier boots uh, became my new addiction. But um, love these. Get you a pair of these too. Um, I also have that, the Givenchy boot in red. 
If you can't find these anymore, anywhere, these are gone. Um, so there you have that. And then I have, of course, you got to get you, always keep you a classic black pair. This is just a classic black pair of Givenchy boots that I have. Um, it's actually time for some new ones. So I'll look into that. Um, next, we're going to move on to that. We're still on boots. So I'm going to move on, show you all my boots first. Next, we have these. These were a birthday boot. Um, I believe this was birthday 2020. Uh, these are Jimmy Choo. Um, if you can see, they kind of have like a really glittery. Let me see. Can you see that? You can see it in the sun. Like It has like a glitter effect. Um, and also, if you can see them, this like a like a checkered design. Um, and it's like a glitter boot. It's not that cheap glitter that falls off and you see floating in the, in, in the air everywhere. No, that's not this boot. Uh, the glitter is pretty much the texture of the boot. Like it's, it's not hard glitter. Um, it doesn't come off. Um, but I love this boot as well. As you can see, these st stiletto style classic boots are my favorite style boots. I love a, a stiletto boot with a pointy toe. So, so chic, so sexy. Um... I believe I've only worn this boot one time, maybe twice. Um, this was a, like a Fendi collab. I can't remember who the collab was with. Um, but this was a, a collab that Fendi did a few years ago. Um, Tierra and I, Tierra actually took off from work and went to New York class while I was in New York and bought us both a pair. Um, so we both had this boot. But um, at the time, I really, really loved this boot. I don't know if I'll ever wear it again, but I kind of hold on. I'm a shoe hoarder, so I kind of hold on uh, to shoes and stuff for as long as I can. Um, I don't I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever wear this again, but I do have it just in case. You all, I keep my shoes just in case. I might run into a sweatshirt that's a mustard color, and boom, it's gonna. this is going to go with that. So, moving on, I also have these. These are by Mason Margiela. Uh, it's a very different, unique boot. This is giving me like very much moon boot type of boot. Um, but there is like a block heel under there. It isn't a moon boot. It is a block heel under there. Um, it also reminds me of the Givenchy boot a little bit with this weird fold here. But uh, I love this boot. This boot is, is, this is a fashion statement. This is for the girls who love fashion. You want to step out and make a statement. This is your go-to boot right here. I'm trying to tell you. But... Um, anyway, yeah, it's cool. It's, it's part of the MS, MM6 collection. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then moving on to the next boot. These are probably the newer, the newest boot that I have a part of my collection. These are by Christian Dior. Um, they have like the Christian Dior or the CD buckle here that closes there um it is like a fishnet boot so you can see through it um classic block heel um this particular boot i got on sale i was in christian new york for something completely different and this boot was on sale and of course i let my essay my self um associate um talk me into getting it so i think i won one time but they're cute though i love a classic boot real cute Next up, we have, uh, ooh, never before worn my Burberry boot. I haven't worn these yet. I don't know why. Uh, no particular reason why. I have a lot of shoes in here. You, you all will be surprised. There's a lot of things in here that I have not opened up. Well, not opened up, but I have not worn or I have not even touched. Uh, as you can see, these are brand new. Never before worn. Um, it's like a sock boot. This boot is sexy as hell, though. I love this. I love this boot. Um, this was a good buy. I love, love, love this boot. I just haven't worn them yet for whatever reason. Um, but that's my Burberry boot. Um, <laughs> I got this next boot while I was in Atlanta. As you can see, um, I'm trying to get the sun again to do that. Uh, it, it has like a, um, they have like, it has like rhinestones on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see the rhinestones. It has rhinestones 
um, all throughout the boot. Um, I got these while I was in Atlanta and I got them from DSW. Um, these are by Jessica Simpson. These aren't even a, 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 a huge luxury designer boot. This is, these are by JLo. I said Jessica Simpson. Sorry about that. It's JLo. These are by JLo, Jennifer Lopez. Um, but I really like this boot. This boot is so sexy. It looks rich. It looks luxury. Um, if I put, you put this boot on with a dress and a bag, maybe a bag like this that has rhinestones on it, fire, fire with a black, just a black dress. This would be real cute together. Um, I don't, I don't, everything doesn't have to be like a real expensive designer for me to wear it. Um, if I like it, I'll wear it. If I like it, you guys are going to love it. So, um, yeah, I think I paid a hundred dollars for these real cute. Um, next up we have, oh, I can't wait to wear these babies. Next we have up this fire ass Tom Ford wedge boot. Look at this boot. Look at, look at this boot. Look at the detail on this boot. Again, these are by Tom Ford. I have not worn these yet. Again, an unworn boot. Look at the wedge though on that boot. Look at that. Look at the details. If you know me, you know I'm a queen of details. I love me some details. Um, but yeah, these are by Tom Ford. I haven't worn these yet, but uh, I do plan to wear these soon. So stay tuned for the look I wear with these. Um, let's see who's next. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna hold on. Let me rewind. I am not gonna be able to go through all. I have a ton of shoes. I have a shitload of shoes. So I'm going to give you guys a general picture of the closet and then I'll pick out my favorites. Um, but I don't think I can go shoe by shoe. Um, there's a lot of shit in here, so I'm not going to go shoe by shoe. Uh, so I'll show you guys a few more of my favorites. Um, these boots are by Vetements. Fire, right? This was a birthday shoe of this year, birthday 2021. Look at that. Look at that boot. Look at the details. Mm-hmm. Fire ass boot. Then I will show you guys my other one that's also by Vetements, which was a birthday shoe as well. These. I got a lot of compliments about these. You ladies went crazy for these when I posted these. These are by Vetements. This, this is not a Benton boot. These are by Vetements. It has like a pocket here on the side. Bomb ass boot. This is a bomb ass boot. I don't know if these are still available for purchase as of today. Um, but I did wear these birthday January 2021. But this is another one of my favorites. Uh next up. This was birthday 2020, I believe. Oh, the strings are tangled. This is more like a cold weather boot. These are by Chanel. I didn't wear these this year. I'm upset with myself about that. I gotta wear these. Um, but yeah, these are by Chanel. It's like a really like cold weather boot. Something you can wear like a, a bomb ass boot to wear in Aspen or something. Um, but yeah, these are cute, super cute. Um and that's I I just I don't know. Y'all, it's a lot of boots to show y'all. I can I can sit here and go boot by boot. I can do this all day long. I This will turn into a four-hour, uh, like, session, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to show you guys, like, um, a bunch of different blooper. Er, er, Kamari cut this part out because I just messed up, okay? Back to the boot. Um, so I am going to show you guys my newest purchase. My newest purchase is a Gucci purchase. Um, it's a Gucci boot that I recently purchased with a matching bag. Um, really cute boot. Here they are, right here. Bentley, no. These are, this is my newest purchase. This is a Gucci boot, classic booty. Um, and I bought it with, the, this bag. Super cute, right? Cute as fuck, actually. The Gucci bag that I purchased to go with this Gucci boot. This is my, my newest. This is the newest to my collection. Um, 
So yeah, that's that. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I gotta show you guys a fire ass boot before I go. Hold on. So this boot is a Philip Klein boot. Oh my god. Look at this boot. I love how the sole is here. It's given like a like a, a really rough kind of sole. Um but yeah, I love this boot. Look at that. Look at the details in this boot. This is, again, this boot is by Philip Klein. I bought these a few years ago. My hairstylist actually sent them to me. Um, he's randomly sends me stuff. He sent those to me, and I was like, oh, no, I got to have those. So I, I bought those a few years ago. Um, also, a boot you won't find anymore. You won't find this boot anywhere. Poochie. Not Gucci, baby. Poochie. This is a Poochie boot. This boot is sexy as hell on. It's a fitted, like, sock boot. Um, I bought these a few years ago as well. Again, you can't find these anywhere. These are very hard to find. They also came in, like, a, sh a, a calf length boot, but these are thigh high. I love these boots. One of my favorites. Um, and then, um, these, these are also a Gucci booty I bought probably a year or so ago. I think I only wore these like one time, but, uh, kind of reminds me of the other boot I just showed you guys with the matching bag, but, um, very much different at the same time. This one has like that penny loafer front design, um, really cute. Uh, let's see. Just flying through some shoes. Oh. We have this off-white booty, fire. If you're into fashion, you would think this is fire. This boot fire as hell. Um, kind of reminds me of cottage cheese a little bit. I wore these in Miami, I think. Uh, kind of reminds me of cottage cheese, but it's fire. Look at that. Look at the details in that boot. Cute. Um, I also bought a, a bag that matches these. Again, this is about off-white. Cute as shit, right? Mm, yes, love this together. Um, so, that's that. Uh, I have a few wide sale shoes. I'm not really a wide sale fan. I'm not a real fan. I'm not a big fan of their bags or their shoes. You know, they may come out with um, some hit or miss pieces. Um, these I definitely purchased because these are a classic. Um, this is as classic of a heel sandal or whatever you call it. This is as classic as you're going to get. Love this. I love the YSL uh, hardware right here in the front. And I also have them in this color as well. Um, got to keep black. I always buy, if I buy it in black, if I buy it in any other color, I got to have it in black. Black is a classic. It goes with everything. Um, so I do have those. And then I have two more pair of YSL shoes. Uh, these. Um, just a classic. Pretty color. Then I had these. These were my first pair of YSL shoes. I think everybody owns a pair of these. I think this heel comes in different colors like gold, silver. Um, mine's is royal blue. I always get... Uh, if, if it has a colored bottom like these, this one has a, a blue bottom, I always get the sole covered up um, so that it doesn't ruin the sole. Nothing like ladies. Red bottoms, like, for example, red bottoms. It's I hate when a woman crosses her legs and her red bottoms are scraped up on the bottom. Always get your soles covered, the bottom of your shoes covered, protects the bottom of the shoe, keeps it looking sexy so when I cross my legs, it's still blue. Um, it's not like... Rough and, and ugly. That, that's so ugly. Uh, let's see. Um, I think we all know about Alexander McQueen's. A few of you guys may own a pair. These are the only pair that I own. If you know me, you know I love hologram. I have a thing for hologram. Um, so these are my Alexander, Alexander McQueen's. I don't think I ever wore these either. Um, I can't wait to get to the slides. Uh, I do own two pair of Burberry tennis shoes that I, I think I only wore one. This one, and I think I only wore once. Um, these, to me, are cold weather sneakers. Like, if it's snow outside or ice, 
simply because of the sole. It gives me like cold weather shoe. Maybe even in the rain. Because it has that type of bottom. Um, let's see. Uh, love these Prada sneakers. Love these. I love the, the way that they're high top. If I wear sneakers, I honestly prefer a high top sneaker. So um, I love the, the high top style of this shoe. It's actually really cute. It looks even better on the foot. Um, I love that. Um, <laughs> Bentley, be quiet. Oh, these are by June Ambrose. Everybody asked me about this shoe. That she does not make shoes anymore, but when she did make shoes, this fucking shoe is everything. This is a shoe. Ladies, if, if you don't like anything else in my closet, I hope you like these. This is a shoe. Look at this. Look at the details in this shoe. Um, again, these are by, um, her name was June Ambrose. She used to make shoes and she only sold them on like the QVC channel with those kind of channels, NBC, QVC channel. So I ended up getting these one day I was sitting at work and I, was, I think the QVC channel was on at three, four in the morning um the night before and so i ordered these while i was at work um and this is actually one of my favorite shoes as well um and of course uh a few bottegas to say the least i think every woman kind of owns a pair of bottegas right now um i own this uh classic this kind of uh wraps around wraps around the ankle of course the, the classic mule I have the, also have the mule in red. And these are my newest um, Bottega shoe. This is a... I love shoes that wrap around the legs, by the way. Um, I love a boot and I love shoes that wrap around the leg. Love this shoe. I actually purchased this shoe to go on my green Birkin bag, which I will show you in a little bit. Um, but yeah, fire with the green Birkin bag. Um, let's see what else we have in here. I'm trying to put things back as I take them out. Um, here we have my Chanel boot. These are by Chanel. For those who were asking about this gold boot when I had posted it on my Instagram page not too long ago. Uh, another very nice detail. These are by Chanel. I bought these about two years ago. Um, comfortable as hell, too. These are comfortable, by the way. Gives me goddess a little bit. Um, then we have, love these, these are by Fendi, love the details in these as well. This particular Fendi boot, you can, it straps up like around the, the foot and the ankle right here with the Fendi logo buckle, um, pretty cute, love this boot. This boot is sexy as shit when you wear it too, love this boot. Um, I guess I don't have to keep saying love this, love this, love this, because clearly I love it if I bought it. Um, and then we have, this boot, never before worn, never before seen, <laughs> I don't think I ever showed you guys this boot, this is, I think they're by YR Project, if I'm not mistaken, brand new, never worn, um, Love the details in the back. I love the fact that they could be worn high or you could slouch them down low. Um, pretty cute. Love the uniqueness of the heel here. Really unique heel. Cute. Um, then we're going to move along. Oh, wait. How could I forget these? My favorite luxury brand right now is Dior. I love Dior. I love me some Dior. I just love the, the, the details of their, their products. I love their shoes. I just love Dior. They're a little on the pricey end, but uh, between all the ones I have been exposed to lately, Dior is my favorite right now. It could change, but right now it is Dior. These are some Dior boots also that I have. Love this boot. Um... I'm going to show you, I got a Dior tote that looks really good with these. It has this effect, uh, this design, this laser cut design, really cute. 
Um, if you know me, you know I love boots. Boots, boots, boots. I love desert boots. I love flat boots. I love heel boots. I love, I love thigh high boots. I definitely love thigh high boots. Um, also, I have a few of these by Christian Dior as well. Um, more like rain boots, but I love these. I purchased these with a bucket hat. This particular one has like a design on the inside, like a plaid design. I bought a, a bucket hat that has the same design, so that was super cute. Um, and then I also just had them in an off-white and an olive green. The olive green was my first color. I love these boots, very cute. They're, they're cute to just wear as fashion boots too. Doesn't have to be in the rain or whatever, but um, super cute. Okay. And next we have, oh gosh, I gotta get the steps through. I have to get the steps through y'all. Hold on one second. Uh, let's see what we have here. Next we have one of my new favorite boots. Mason Margiela again. If you know his signature is the camel toe um, type of style boot. People that don't understand fashion kind of like what kind of boots are those? Why would she have a, a horseshoe boot or whatever the hell corny shit y'all say. Uh, but that's what makes the boot fire. That's what makes the boot, un boot unique. That's his signature. That's how you know. you. It doesn't matter what style boot you wear it doesn't matter what color they are if they have this camel toe you're gonna know they're mason margella um so that's his signature love that about it love that about him um but i love this boot this boot cute as hell love this boot um i also have a new favorite boot because again it goes by the classic boot i said i've been telling you guys that i like i don't know if you guys are familiar with paris texas She's making some fire ass boots. Again, I am a big fan of stiletto. Uh, knee high boots. I would call these knee high because they, they reach approximately the, the knee. Um, if they do come up to the knee. Um, so yeah, Paris Texas comes in a bunch of dope ass, amazing ass, gorgeous ass colors. Uh, so I definitely, the only thing with these, I try to get colors that I didn't have in the Alexander Baltier boots. Um, so this is like a really pretty sky blue croc boot. Super cute. Um, also has an, an, an orange color as well. Cute. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. A oh, no, 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 no. It's not. I have these, which are also Bottegas. Um, I have them in this cream color and say, ooh, I need these. These are cute. These bring me help. This is not that boot. But when you put these babies on, cute as hell. Like, the shaft of this boot fits really tight. It's a cute-ass boot, especially when you have on, like, let's just say you have on some skinny leg leggings or anything. Like, these boots are fire when you put them on. Don't underestimate the Bottega, honey. Um, also by Bottega is this boot. I don't know what made me buy this boot, y'all. Don't ask me. Um, I did wear it one time. I think this would be a cute boot. Like, this would be my Ugg boot, pretty much. You know how you have, <laughs> you know how you have that Ugg boot that you put on. Like when you run into the store, you run into the gas station, you run into the Seven Eleven, grocery store, mall. You, you ladies, you throw in your Ugg boots. I need to get me a pair. By the way, it's good to have a, a pair of Ugg boots every year. It's barely no. It's good to have a pair of Ugg boots on hand. But this is my like my Ugg boot. That's how I treat these, like an Ugg boot. I don't know why he's barking. He's barking at himself. Um, also, I have these. I know you ladies have seen these. Uh, this is a really cute booty by Chanel, by the way. Love this. I love all things black and white, period. And I bought these two because I thought they would be really cute with my Birkin bag. I have a black and white uh, baby Birkin, 25 centimeter. Um, really cute with those. Um, so I think that's it of boots, ladies and gentlemen, by the way. Now I'm going to move on to, I don't know if I necessarily care to show you guys my sneaker collection because I'm not really a sneaker head, but I guess I can show you a couple. 
So I do have, it's, you have to keep a pair of Balenciaga trainers. I have a gray pair and a black pair. Balenciaga trainers, again, I'll treat these like a pair of Ugg boots, my go-to my go shoe, my throw-on shoe, my errand shoe. Definitely keep a pair of these. Um, I have this Fendi sneaker that I loved when I first bought it, but I've never worn them. Um, no particular reason why. I just never got around to wearing them. Cute. This is a really cute shoe, though. Really cute sneaker. Um, <laughs> I guess I can show you guys. Uh, I don't know why I bought these. They're cute as fuck, though, right? They're really cute. But they're so big on the foot. I just feel like my foot looks big as shit in these when I wear these. But it's really cute. These are by Balmain. These still are. These are really cute. But I just, I'm not a pink girl, by the way. I don't buy stuff in pink. So I don't even have anything to really match those. Um, I do have the Louis Vuitton sock boot, sock sneaker. These are Archlight sock sneakers. Um, I love these too. Uh, very comfortable, by the way. Designer sneakers tend to be a little comfortable, but they're, they're heel, they're, they're heels, awful, the worst. Um, these are by Roger Viver. Uh, I bought these when I, was in, when I was in Ball Harbor one year, a couple years ago, two years maybe. Um, this is my sneaker when it's bad weather, like when it's snowing outside, I wear this sneaker um, because it has that unique bottom that's, you know, that you'll need to grip the ground when you're walking in the snow, but this is a snow sneaker for sure. Uh, let's see. Um, this, this is a sneaker. Oh my God. How can I forget to show you that fire ass boot at the top? Um, this is a sneaker. Um, kind of looks like a boot a little bit, but these are by Balmain too. This is the collab that they did with Puma. So these are by Balmain and Puma, as you can see on the back. Never before worn. I actually purchased this. Look at that, but the details are bomb as fuck. But I actually purchased these to wear to Tierra's sneaker ball for her birthday of 2020. Um, but then I ended up going with another sneaker, which I will show you next. Um, so the sneaker I ended up going with for her sneaker ball are Mason Margellas. Again, I told you guys I really love hologram. It's a hologram effect gives you like a dirty shoe effect so they, they they come like this this shoe is just not dirty but it comes like this this is a fire ass sneaker especially on the foot um but this is the shoe that i decided to go with for her sneaker ball instead of the Balmain and puma collaboration but i love that Balmain shoe as well um i don't have a lot of sneakers y'all uh the next sneaker i guess i do have these this will be it of the sneakers Again, I, a bunch of, uh, I love the Louis Vuitton Archlight style sneaker. Love that, the detail of the sole. Um, so I have those in gold. I purchased that gold one mainly to go with this gold Balenciaga bag. Super cute together. Hold on, let me put these down. Super cute together. So I purchased these to go together. Um, cute together, right? Uh, so I hold on. I'm sorry. Commercial break. Commercial break. I, I I'm just amazed at how my abs are poking. Y'all see that? My abs are really poking. Oh, oh, it's real. I didn't just noticed it. I'm sorry. Back to schedule programming. Uh oh, forgot to show you the guys the other colors that I have. Yeah, I also. I also had a black pair and a silver pair. I love these silver ones, by the way. Cute. Uh, what else do I have? I think that's it of sneakers. I want to go back to this uh, boot that I did not get to show you guys. But it's a fire ass boot. It's actually one of my favorites right now as well. They're by a brand that you guys probably don't hear a lot about. The brand is called GCDS Wear. I'm sure you guys have seen me post these um, because when I wear these, they get a, the picture gets a lot of engagement. Look at this boot. Just, just look at this boot. 
Where in the world would you find a fire ass boot like this? GCDS. Period. Real cute. Um, also, I, I had to get them. I got the brown first, but I love this boot so much that I went back and got the white. Um, but this is a cute ass boot. I originally bought these to go with my Goyard bag, which I will get to in just a few minutes here. So, um, what else do I want to show you guys? I guess I can show you guys the slides, okay? I am not going to pull out the individual slides. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around and just show you guys slides, okay? I'm not going to gonna go back and forth. I have so many slides. I have every slides. I have them in a bunch of different colors. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I want to show you that. I'm just going to show you a picture of the slides. Um, Again, I like boots all winter, slides all summer. Um, I love, love, love slides. So I have a ton of those. I'm going to let you guys see those up close and personal. Come follow me. Start with this shelf. Uh, so here's a pair of slides. Um, these are by Tom Ford. Banging ass slide. Love this slide. Um, the actual logo, the hardware here is very flashy. Um, and the sun is literally blinding. Like this, this sparkles, the sparkle on these is amazing. Um, but yeah, so you have, I have those. I just recently got these in every single color. Love these. Louis, you did your thing with these. Love these. I'm not a pink person, but I did purchase these to go with a pink hat. I'll show you. Wait, right here. I buy hats to go with... I buy hats to literally go with everything. So, uh, with this pink slide, I bought this Louis Vuitton ball cap to kind of go with this pink slides. To go with the pink slides super cute i'm not a pink girl but again like i said this slide is really cute with this hat so um, i bought that and again i bought these in every color so i also have them in black and sorry when i store my slides i store them like one inside of the other but i have them in this pretty sky blue and then i thought these were yellow but they're more like a chartreuse color um like a lime color neon color so and i have them in this color as well i also have as you can see i have the christian dior's in every color i'm sure you guys know what these are christian dior i have them in every color classic slide if you don't have any other slides ladies you have to have these in every single color you can think of um I also have this other uh, Christian Dior style slide. Um, has like the CD logo on the front. Super cute. And I got them in this uh, denim blue color to go with my denim blue Lady Dior um, bag, which I'll show you next. Um, oh, it's kind of hard to put back. Then I also have these classic Christian Dior slides as well. I have them in this black and I have them in this navy blue, a navy blue color. So we're gonna put all these back. We also, we also have slides on this side. This is my Hermes side, Chanel. It's a mixture, but right here are all of my Hermes slides. I recently got these, these denim slides, super cute. Um, and then I have, I just have them in like, every color i have a red i have a, a cognac color um this black velvet color black and silver and i recently got these oranges as well to go with my new louis vuitton alma bag and orange i'll show you guys those with that next these are also by hermes these you probably haven't seen a lot of i'm sure you guys have seen the the h sandal um or the orion uh sandal um, but these you haven't seen often. I haven't even, I think I have, I don't think I've worn these yet, but, um, this is a really cute Hermes slide as well. Um, then they have my Chanel slide. Love these slides. Super cute. I'm sure you guys, you ladies and gentlemen have seen these as well. These are really cute. Um, and then, um, I have these Gucci slides, which I also purchased these to go with, I have the matching hat. It's the velvet, just like this, same fabric, same color. 
um, hat to go with these as well. I gotta wear these this summer. I did not wear them last summer. So I have to make sure I wear those. Then I have my Bottegas. Um, I bought these to go with my cassette bag with the chain. Um, I'm gonna get to bags next because uh, I have something I wanna say about my bags and stuff. So, uh, but I did buy this sandal to go with that bag. Um, then there's the classic YSL slides. Cute, classic Louis Vuitton slide. And then one of my favorite pair of slides, which is the, which are the Valentino slides. A little dirty on them, but um, my Valentino slides has the clear, um, the clear strap. Love these. These are my favorite slides. Um, moving right along. Well, uh, but I will show you my newest purchase. The newest slides of the collection are these. These are a Chanel slide. This is the newest to my slide collection. If you know me, you know that I prefer boots and slides, nothing else. I love me a pair of boots and I love me a pair of slides. That's what I wear. I wear slides all summer, boots all winter. Um, here, when you wear them together, it says Chanel. Has like uh, the cork sole and a small heel on them. But these are my newest slides uh, that I just recently purchased. Um, and then I guess I can go to show you guys when i go over my bags i'm gonna kind of i'm gonna I'm, i'll go through the bags a different now that we have gotten through my shoe collection um i am now going to show you guys um my bag collection um i have had a bags so i will try to get through all of them i may not get to every single last bag but i will get through as many as i can so stay tuned First bag up is this Goya bag. Um, this is probably my favorite bag of all bags. Yes, I said it. No, it's not the Birkin bag, but it is this Goya bag. This is my favorite bag. I've only carried it about twice, but I absolutely love this bag. Um, as you guys can see here, really cute bag. Love this bag. I actually get a lot of compliments on that bag, especially from men. Um, I get a lot of compliment, compliments on this bag. This is my favorite bag. Um, even though I don't carry it the most, it still is my favorite. Um, this is my very first Chanel bag. It is the it is a vanity case. Um, for some reason, some white paint or something has gotten on these. I have to try to clean it off. Um, but I want to take it to Chanel to do that. Um, but this is my vanity case bag. Um, this is actually one of my favorite bags too. Um, but it does not top this Goyard. This Goyard bag. My Chanel bags or my Birkin bags do not top this Goyard bag. This is my favorite bag. Um, and happens to be my best purchase. Um, and I'll share with you guys later my worst purchase. But this is my best purchase. Um, and then again, like I said, you have my, my first Chanel bag. And then my Chanel 19 bag in denim. Um cute not my favorite um it's a really good addition to have in your closet i think if you are a chanel buyer you should along with your flat bag and your boy bag i feel like you should have a chanel 19 my favorite chanel bag which i have yet to carry because the red is a very unique red it's not a true red so it's very hard to match with things um but yeah this is similar to a flat bag but not quite a flat bag as you can see the level of detail in this bag super cute love this bag and then up next we have my dior lady dior bag by christian dior um i absolutely love this bag as well the color is gorgeous um it is the medium size it is not the largest too big and the mini is a waste of money um because you only can fit your debit card in it um but so yeah i got this medium size which is super cute this is the bag that i said that i had to match the Dior slides. Here are the Dior slides that go super cute with it. This matte, uh, they call it denim blue. Really cute to go with that. That's why I purchased these. Really cute. Um, and then behind that, oh wait. I actually was given the charms for free with Christian Dior for this bag when I bought this bag. 
my essay gave me these for free. They're about a hundred and something dollars per charm. So I was really grateful for that. Super cute on, on my bag. My shelves are starting to fill up. So I have to double up on bag space shelving. Um, but this is the newest bag that I have to my collection. This is by Gucci. Um, I purchased this bag to go with the Gucci boots that I showed you guys earlier. Um, this is super cute too. I love this bag. It probably wouldn't have been a go-to bag purchase or a go-to bag for me if I didn't get that boot. Let me get the boot for you guys again. Super cute together. Let's see if we could kind of back it up. So cute together. Like I said, I probably wouldn't have purchased this bag if this this boot wasn't available. Um, but it was, and so I got the bag too. Really cute. Now about this uh, Bottega cassette bag. Uh, it, this is probably my worst purchase, especially for the amount of money it costed me. Um, this is my least favorite purchase. I, I just, at the time, I thought this was the best bag in the world. At the time that I purchased this bag, it was the prettiest bag to me in the world. Um, but I've probably only carried this bag one time. I, I just, I don't know, you guys. It's just, I'm just not a fan of it anymore. Sorry. I'm just not a fan of it. I'll deal with that later. But I'm just not a fan of this bag anymore. Uh, to me, it's just, I don't know. No particular reason. It's just, the, maybe it's the color. The color, um, I'm not really a fan of the color anymore. Um, the style of the bag, I'm just I'm just not a fan of it. It's easy to be stained. Um, it, had, it had got stains on it before, but I was, luckily I was able to clean it off. But I'm just not a fan of this, this bag anymore. Um, so that's my that's my worst purchase. That's my least favorite purchase. Um, then I have, of course, I am not a really a, good, a big fan of YSL. Um, they're, they're probably my least favorite brand. Um, to me, they just don't really have a lot of newness with them. Everything is pretty much the same year to year. Um, but I did think if I have a bag collection, then I need to have uh, a YSL classic flat bag. Um, again, I decided to go the velvet route because I feel like, let me move these. Because I feel like everybody has, hold on, wait a minute. Okay. I feel like everybody has, um, a leather one. I feel like everybody has a leather one. Um, so I decided to go another route. And if, since I, I feel like if you have a bad collection, you gotta have classics. Like, for example, I need to give me a classic flat bag by Chanel, as well as a boy bag, because if you're going to start a bag collection, I feel like you should always have the classics as well as, you know, some spontaneous bags as well. So that is my Chanel bag. I mean, my YSL bag correction. I'm sorry. That is my YSL flat bag. I've never, I've carried it one time and it was for like two hours. Other than that, I've never carried it. Um, Then up here, I have like my mini bags, my smaller bags up here. Um, I have these Bottega bags. Um, I mainly have these bags to go with the slip-on mules, the classic mules that I showed you guys earlier. Um, that's what I had those for. This is a new bag that I have to I have to open up to show you guys. This is a new Montclair bag. This bag I have never carried before. I recently just got it, um, but I did buy it to go with. Uh, my Montclair jacket. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys that. So up here, we have this Montclair like sweater. It's very lightweight. It's mainly for the spring. So like hopefully this month sometime in April, I'm able to wear it. But I have like this Montclair uh, sweater jacket. And I purchased this to go with it. Super cute, right? Um, so that's what I bought that to go with. Um, and so that's that. Um, I love vanity style bags. So I have this Louis Vuitton one. I also have another Louis Vuitton one as well, um, that I'll show you guys in a second that goes with the Louis Vuitton jacket that I have. Um, but this is super cute. I love, like I said, I love vanity style case bags. That's why I have that Chanel one up there, but I love vanity bags. This is... I know you guys know what this is. This is that Prada crossbody bag. Never wore it. I don't know why. Um, I love the nylon ones. And I felt like, oh, I need a leather one too. So I purchased this, but I have never worn it. Um, also in here, I have 
another Prada nylon bag, but it has this ruched effect. Um, super cute, red and black are my favorite colors. So I ended up getting it in red because I got this one in black, which is the classic nylon crossbody bag by Prada. Um, as well as this. This, I love this bag. I've never carried this, this Louis Vuitton crossbody bag. I love the fact that you can detach this and have a handheld bag, which is really cute. It's like two in one. So I thought that was really cute, even though I never carried it. Um, I have this mini product backpack. I thought this was the cutest little thing ever. I thought these were the cutest little things ever. So I did get one of these. Um, I carry this from time to time. Um, then I have this Gucci. This is like a backpack and like you can carry it with the top handle. Um, this is really cute. Never wore it before. I, you know, doing this with you guys, it kind of sucks because now I'm looking at things and I'm like, girl, you never wore that before. Like, I never wore this. It's brand new. Um, it has back straps so you can wear it as a backpack as well. That's so sad I have not wore this. Here's an, another unique purchase that I love, love, love. This bag right here is totally in the way. I'm going to throw that out. That is in the way. Um, I have this Gucci, like, sphere-like ball bag. This is so cute. This is so cute. I've worn this maybe twice, but it's so cute. I love that I purchased this. This is probably hard to find now as well. Um, then you have this Burberry style bag. They have this new style bag that they have going on. It's like really unique. I don't really like the style of this bag. This is cute as hell. This was a cute... This was cute and it was a great idea. I really love this. This is super cute. So we have that. Um, and that's it right there. Then we have my, again, my hat shelf. These are all my bucket hats here. And I'll go through those hats separately. So we're going to do that last. Let's get back on track and go on to the other side. So up here we have my tote bags. These are my Christian Dior tote bags. Um, these look like they're the same, but they're different prints. This is the Worldwide Tour bag. Um, and then this one is more like a springy bag because it has like the palm trees. The spring summer bag it has the palm trees. I typically take this on the beach or like if I go on a yacht. This is the one that I'll carry. This one, super cute. It is a laser cut Christian Dior bag, so it's completely see-through. Um, I bought it to go with the boots that I shared with you guys earlier. Uh, really cute. Um, then I have this Christian Dior um, Chinese holiday bag. Um, so it has a bunch of Chinese words on it. Um, this you won't necessarily find anymore. It was a limited release. Um, and again, it is the Chinese holiday bag. Um, then we have my Christian Dior classic tote. That I got my name customized on. Um, and then the other side says Christian Dior. I started with my very first Christian Dior tote bag. This is my very first Christian Dior bag, period. Um, I love this bag. This bag is very special to me. I met my essay when I bought this bag for the first time. Um, and I just love this bag. It's a classic. This one, you will be able to go into a Christian Dior store and purchase uh, because it is their classic uh, oblique tote bag. These are This is a classic, so they're going to carry this as well as in the, the blue color. Um, but this is the smaller of the totes. This is considered a small. Um, the big ones, to me, those are really travel bags. And they, they for my frame, they're just extremely big. So I like the smaller tote bags. It's like the perfect size for my frame. Um, and so, again, I use these. I normally carry my laptop and things like that in it. The special part about this bag is... Dun, 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 it is personalized. It has my name engraved on the back of the bag or the front. I guess you can't really tell what's the back or the front. Um, but yeah, it has my name engraved on it. I really love this bag. Um, and I thought like everybody buys these in blue. So I went ahead and got the burgundy. That's the thing. I typically, I feel like if you're a bag collector, you have to get a classic. So whatever that designer's classic is, you have to have that. But I tend, I typically go against the average. I, I won't go with the average color or the average texture. So if it's a Chanel flat bag, I'll go and get a velvet Chanel flat bag. You know, I'll just switch up the color or the texture. 
Um, but yeah, so I had this one. Next, next up is the Christian Dior Chinese Holiday Bag. I have not carried this bag yet. I do not know why. Please do not ask me. Uh, I just haven't carried it yet. And, but this bag is pretty as hell. Look at this bag. Look at the details. Um, I also had the matching slides to this bag as well by Christian Dior. Um, again, no particular reason why I haven't carried it. I just have not. Um, and this is not being sold anymore. But love this. Next up is my Christian Dior laser cut tote bag. Now this one is the size large. Remember I mentioned um, sizes to you guys. I said there's a, they, they come in smalls and larges. This is a large one um, because this did not come in a small size. So again, this is something I would use for um, overnight stays, 24 hour uh, getaways, um, my laptop, travel. That's what I would use this for. Uh, I also have some boots that look really good with this they have the laser cut details cute together right these are by christian dior as well i don't know if they still carry these boots but uh yeah i think these are really cute together make a cute set i'm gonna just do these together because uh, if I do one after the other, I'm going to do these together because if I do one after the other, they're going to kind of look identical. Um, that is a mistake that I made. I don't like to buy things that are pretty identical, but um, I never really thought about it until like I had it for like six months. But anyway, um, the difference is this one has like palm trees, flamingos. This, is, this gives you like a beachy, springy feeling of a bag. This one is their worldwide tour bag, which I had a jacket. I have a jacket that I have not worn yet that matches this. It's the old, the big oversized raincoat-like jackets that you guys see all the time. Um, that's what this is. And I have not uh, carried this one yet. I have carried this one, um, but I have not carried this one yet. So Then I have my Christian Dior saddle bag. Super cute. It is the matte black with the Dior embossed all on it with a matching thick shoulder strap. So I have that. Then I have here my Louis Vuitton mini uh, backpack. This is a, a mini version of the one that I showed you guys earlier. Super cute. And then I have, this is the my newest Louis Vuitton bag. It is the Louis Alma bag that I got in orange. And I bought this bag to wear with these orange Hermes slides. I can't wait to wear this. So cute. So cute. Hey, Bentley. You say hi? He wants some attention so bad. He doesn't know what to do with himself. Bentley. Bye. He's been a spoiled brat. Anyway, um, so that's that. Moving right along. I'm going to go over this entire shelf with you guys. Okay. So, moving right along. Remember, I spoke about the vanity cases earlier. I love the vanity case style bags. Love this. My essay had to search the world for this. This was sold out everywhere. Um, and he lucked up on one and was able to get me one. I'm forever grateful for him. Um, but I bought this bag to go with, of course, this jacket. Haven't worn it together yet, but that's why I bought it together. So that I can wear those two pieces together. Um, then we have a quiet sale, like a, needed like a dressy bag. So like if I go out and I have to be extra dressy, this is why I purchased this bag. It's a cute little quiet sale bag. It has a shoulder strap as well. Then we have a blue Balenciaga. This was my first Prada purchase. It is a crossbody bag. Really cute. I love the hardware on it. Um, so that's what that is. Then I have the Burberry Horse Fairy bag. Uh-oh. I have this Burberry Horse Fairy bag. Also this Burberry Small Cylinder bag. Just has a short top handle on, on it. 
really cute though super cute love this this is one of my favorite purchases too even though i barely carried it i don't know i don't think i ever carried this but this is one of my favorite purchases this is a mini saddle bag by christian dior but it has these really cute like diamond details on it love this bag this is one of my favorites bought this around christmas time about two years ago this is D dolce and gabbana i bought that keep remember that look i bought that to go with these so that's a cute little set moving right along waste of money this mini Christian Dior tote. This is a waste of money. Do you see how slim this, like you literally can't fit anything but your debit cards in this and maybe your phone. This wasn't the best investment, but uh, I have it now. So it is what it is. This was my first Gucci bag. If you know me, you know I love Gucci with the bamboo handles. I really only buy Gucci bags that have the bamboo handles. Um, But yeah, this is super cute. I love the rhinestones that's on the, the horseshoe here. Um, this is really cute. I don't think I've ever really carried that. Oh, that's so that sucks. Um, love this Gucci bag. This is one of my favorite Gucci purpose purchases. Love this. So cute. Then I have one that's still similar to that, which is this one. Different but similar. Still has the bamboo top handle, has the cognac sides. It's scraped up somehow. I don't know how that happened, but super cute. Now, here we go, ladies. This is for my ladies. And my gentlemen, if you're interested in getting your girl a Birkin bag, we are going to go over my Birkin bag collection, my Hermes Birkin bag collection. Um, Listen, to each his own, again, can't judge anybody who owns a Birkin, who spends their money on Birkin. If, if, if that's what a woman wants, let that woman buy herself a Birkin. Let that man buy her woman, a, buy his woman a Birkin. Just, it is what it is, okay? Every Birkin that I own, I purchase with my own money. This is the holy grail of all bags, okay? This is the holy grail of all bags. It is an investment. Um, You won't lose your money if you purchase a Birkin. So, ladies, don't let anybody discourage you or make you feel any kind of way about buying yourself a Birkin or don't allow people in your ear about your man buying you a Birkin and not a building. Listen, ladies, if you want that Birkin, get that Birkin. It's, it's just as good as an investment as anything else. So get it if that's what you want. Um, I did purchase all of my own Birkins. Nobody has purchased me a Birkin. No one has gifted me with a Birkin. My, purchase, my Birkins were purchased with my very own hard-earned money. Um, and so I will get started. Again, Birkins are very rare. You cannot walk into an Hermes Birkin, I mean, an Hermes store. I'm going to call it a Birkin store. But you cannot walk, walk into an Hermes store and purchase a Birkin. Unless you're in United Kingdom and you luck up in a Paris flagship store. That is the only way you may luck up and be able to walk into a store and buy a Birkin. Um, I am able to get Birkins. I go through a company called Privé Porter. I know you guys have heard of her. Heard of her. It's owned by a woman named Michelle Burke. She's awesome. Um, she helped me source each and every one of my Birkin bags as well as my Kelly bag. Um, but of course, you're going to pay premium price and you're going to pay a little more than if you purchased it out of a store. Um, but yeah, she sourced everything for me. Privé Porter, that's her name on Instagram. It's P-R-I-V-E-P-O-R-T-E-R. -E -E I will tag them below. Um, and so let's get, get started. Let's get right to it. So I'm going to go from the Kelly and then I'm going to go side by size for the Birkin. This is my Kelly bag. I do believe my Kelly is a 28 centimeters if I'm not mistaken. I, I know all my Birkin sizes, but this size, I can't remember if I bought a 25 or a 28. It's between those two. I want to say it's a 28. I'm almost certain it's a 28 centimeter. Look at this. Look at this, Kelly. It is gorgeous. It is in box calf. Um, it is a, a pretty, like, indigo blue. It's going to look really good with these denim Hermes slides, Orion slides that I got this year for this summer. Um, but, yeah, it's so pretty. Look at it. It has this, this, such a smooth texture. It's such a pretty bag. This bag is pretty. Oh, God. And it has the silver hardware. Um, it kind of favors your Birkin bag a lot. However, uh, you can normally identify these by the single handle. 
Birkins have two handles and it's pretty, uh, but when it's closed, it kind of gives the same feel. But yeah, this is my Kelly bag. So cute. Moving on. Now, people could talk all this Birkin talk all they want, but there's Birkin and then there's HSS Birkin, okay? HSS is horseshoe stamp Birkin. That means most times it's either a one of one or one of two. You won't see this, these bags anywhere else. You damn sure not walking in the store and seeing them. Um, you won't see these bags anywhere else. I own two horseshoe stamps, um, horseshoe stamp Birkin bags. Again, there's a difference. You have HSS Birkin and you also have uh, your, you know, your, your regular Birkin, your, your traditional colors. Um, and HSS, HSS stamp, stamped Birkins. I'm so sorry, you guys. I cannot get my thoughts together. But your HSS stamped uh, Birkin bags. Those are either one of ones or one of twos. Um, they're they're customized. They're made specifically for an individual. They customize, and that's that. So let's let's just get started. We're gonna dive right in. My first Birkin is, of course, um, uh, I will say I prefer my Birkins with gold hardware. To me, gold hardware just looks rich. I mean, I mean, either way, the silver hardware we know a Birkin is a Birkin. It costs you a pretty penny, but. I prefer the gold hardware. It just makes it look, it makes it stand out. It's just, it looks so pretty. It's so much more shinier. Um, I just prefer the gold hardware. But anyway, this is what they call a baby Birkin. This is a 25 centimeter bag. Again, I am not a fan of really big bags unless it is a tote bag and I'm using it for that purpose, which is travel, my laptop for work, those types of things. Other than that, this is a decent size for me. It is a decent size for my frame. Nothing like a small girl carrying a huge bag, a huge tote bag at that as a purse. So this is my, um, again, this is my classic um, Birkin bag, 25 centimeters, also known as a baby Birkin, go hardware. Um, this is my very first Birkin. I love this bag. If you're going to get a Birkin, you always have to have a, if you're going to collect Birkins, you always have to have a black one in your collection. This is the classic it's a classic. You, you, you just, you got to have black. Um, again, and it has the same, same thing as any other Birkin bag. It comes with, Birkin bags come with raincoats so that you can cover your bag in case it's raining or snowing or any bad weather. You have your rain jacket. It comes with its own rain jacket. Uh, but yeah, this is my Bur my baby Birkin 25 centimeters. Um, yeah, love this. The next 25 centimeters, which is my favorite Birkin, is this black and white. If you know me, everybody knows my favorite color is black. And then I love together in a combo, red, black, and white. Everybody knows that. Um, if you know me. Um, again, this is a this is a horseshoe stamp Birkin. And you can normally tell the difference because it's going to have a horseshoe on the stamp. It's going to be stamped with a horseshoe next to its logo. You see that? So there's only one of these. This is a one of one. You're not going to see anybody else with this black and white combo unless, unless someone gets lucky enough, gets called up by Hermes, by Hermes and says, hey, you're up next for a Birkin bag. And they go in and they, and they ask for this color combination, which is kind of rare, but okay. Um, if they do, but yes, this is a one of one. You will not see anyone else with this black and white um, Birkin. This bag is gorgeous. I love this bag. This, this is a sexy Birkin. Um, because the handles are white, I tend to put the handkerchiefs on both handles. I put them on both handles because the handles are white. I do not like for my, I want handles for all of my Birkin bags. So that's why you see all of these orange tubes everywhere because I buy two of each handkerchief because I like that cover the handles. It just keeps, it keeps down the wear and tear on your handle. So it keeps the value. Um, and so my handles will never appear worn. Same thing with my car and my steering wheel. I always get a steering wheel cover. Because the wear and tear, you can't help it. If your hands are always on it, your hands have grease, your hands have lotion. Um, it just keeps down the, the wear and tear on it. Um, again, it has the gold hardware and it is a white interior, which I normally include an insert in here so that the white interior does not get dirty as well. Next up, I don't know if I told you guys that my black Birkin was my first one, my black 25 centimeter, the baby Birkin. That was not my first Birkin bag. My first Birkin was this baby right here. Ooh, this is not horseshoe stamped, okay? This is a classic, uh, I'm not good with the Birkin colors, so I'm not even gonna sit here and try to pronounce them for you guys. 
um, but this is a traditional green Birkin bag. This is a 30 centimeter. Um, this is the most common size. Most women buy the 30 centimeter because it sits right between that, that big 35 centimeter, which is a travel size. And then some people just love bigger bags. So this is a step up from the 25 centimeter. Uh, there is a size difference. When you look at it, you see, you see the size difference? I don't know if, it, if it's easy to see. But the 25 centimeter is slightly smaller. Again, this is a green one with the gold hardware. Again, I love gold hardware for my Birkin bags. Um, but yeah, this is this was my very first one. And I recently bought some Bottega sandals. They kind of wrap around the leg. I'll show you guys here. Um, that is, I particularly bought those green shoes for this Birkin bag. I thought it would be really cute together uh, this summer. So yeah, can't wait to show you guys what I come up with as far as a look. And then my horseshoe stamp 35 centimeter Birkin bag. Again, horseshoe stamp. Any bag that is horseshoe stamp is going to come with a stamped horseshoe. I don't know if you guys can see that really good. Um, this is horseshoe stamped. This color, now I am familiar with this color. This color is, they call this trench. This is not tan. This is not khaki. This is not your classic color, like nude bag. This is called trench. Trench is a custom color. Um, and it all, I also have like a pink, corally interior. And this is what I was telling you about the inserts. I tend to buy bag inserts to keep the bag clean and keep down on the wear and tear of the inside of the bag as well. These come in and out. Um, these are really good to have and a good investment as well. If you're, if you have a Birkin or plan to buy a Birkin, the inserts are good to have. Um, I believe I've carried this a few times. Again, I, I really normally only carry this to travel um, because of the size of the bag. This is not your everyday bag. I don't see how any of you ladies could carry a 35 centimeter Birkin bag every day. Look how big this is. This looks like a suitcase. Um, but some women do it. That's it, it's to each his own. Um, but even look at it, how I hold it here. Um, and also the biggest thing about these, these bags are already heavy by themselves with nothing in them. These are already heavy. I hate, I hate heavy bags. I hate, I don't even like to carry luggage. My luggage has to have wheels. Um, and so, yeah, this is, but I have one. Um, it's good to have. My next one is going to be a 30 centimeter. I'm sticking with a 30 and a 25. I have two 35 centimeter bags. I'm good with that. These are just way too big for me and I'm not going to really carry these. But if all else fails, I got my broken bags, which is an investment. Um, so... Listen, this next one I'm about to show y'all is the holy grail of all bags. Not the holy grail because everybody knows the Himalaya is the holy grail. I would never probably buy a Himalaya. That's a half a million dollars for that bag. Now, unless I become a billionaire or something, then maybe we can reconsider. But in the meantime, I will not be buying one of those. Um, but I do have a holy grail of Birkins. Um, it is the shiny crocodile um, Birkin. The most expensive Birkin that I have, I paid, I paid a pretty penny for this Birkin bag, and it was a very expensive bag. Um, it probably cost more than half this closet on one side, uh, <laughs> honestly. But um, it is a bomb-ass Birkin bag. It is a pretty-ass Birkin bag. It is, it's gorgeous. The color, everything. And again, it's the shiny crop Birkin. Here we go. dun dun dun, -dun. Oh my God, Just it just made me love it all over again looking at it on the camera. This is my Crocodile Birkin. Mm-hmm. This color is all that and some more. This color is bomb as fuck. I mean, bomb as shit. Excuse me, excuse my language. Please, we're gonna bleep that out. But this color with the gold hardware is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, This... I might carry on a regular day because of the type of bag it is, because of the croc, the crocodile, because of the shininess of it. This gives me, it still gives me lawyer, briefcase, on my way to work type of thing. But um, it's still, uh, I don't know. It's something about this one that I like more than the trench one that I could carry this every day. Um, but I don't. Again, I've only carried this about two times. Um, I kind of limit, I don't. I bought these Birkin bags, but you guys, I really don't even carry them because I'm so worried. Like, what if it gets scraped or what if, uh, what if, I, I don't know. I just think the worst. I've lost my bag in a club before. I think about all that kind of stuff. So I kind of li limit, Bentley, 
I kind of limit um how often I carry these bags, and then I just try to keep down the wear and tear on them because uh, when it com become when it comes that time to resell or whatever I'm, that may come up. Hopefully, I never reach that point, and I could just pass it down to my uh, my offspring. Um, yeah, I just I don't know. I'm just so scared to carry. When you spend this type of money on a bag, you're scared. You're kind of scared to carry it. At least for me. Um, but yeah, this is my this is the holy grail of Birkins again. Um, it is the shiny crocodile. Um, what's in here? Oh, just the rain jacket again. All Birkins come with a rain jacket. Um, so yeah, those are my Birkins. Uh, that is it, guys. Th that I keep saying, guys, but ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Um, thanks so much again for tuning into my channels. Again, this was this video was solely dedicated to my Christian Dior bags as well as my Birkin bags um, or my Hermes bags because I did include a Kelly in that in that review as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much. It's been a pleasure uh, showing you guys what's in my closet. It's been a pleasure sh showing each and every Birkin that I own. Again, I own five Birkins and one Kelly bag. I own a... Oh, no. How could I forget? The newest tote to my Christian Dior collection is this beauty right here. One of 20. This bag is one of 20, ladies and gentlemen. You are not going to walk in a Christian store, a Christian Dior store and find this bag. You are not going to walk into a Christian Dior store and find this bag. Just like you're not going to walk into a Hermes store and find my Birkins. Um, but look at this. Look at the detail. Look at the, the handcraft. Look at the craftsmanship. Look at that. This bag is everything. Um, this is my newest Christian Dior bag. I just got this about a week ago. Um, so cute. This is, again, the smaller of the totes. So, 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 so cute. I love this tote bag. Now, this, this is going to get, I'm going to get my money's worth from this. One of 20, my favorite Christian Dior bag, probably... My favorite piece in here right now, alongside the Birkin. My best purchase is my Birkin bag. And I'm going to show you guys a worst purchase um, after this. But yeah, this is this is my newest purchase, my newest baby. She's so pretty. She's so sexy. Can't wait to carry her. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to show you guys my best and my worst purchase um, as far as bags. My best purchase as far as, listen, when I say best and worst, it does not mean it was a, a, a waste of money. It was worse in the sense of like me not liking it later on or like how I feel about the bag. So like, actually, I take that back. No, yes. The worst purchase as far as money too. So my favorite purchase of all bags that I own is my Goyard bag. This is my favorite purchase. This is my favorite bag. It doesn't get carried the most. Does not make me mean anything less than it is my favorite bag. This is my favorite bag. This is the prettiest bag. I mean, look at this bag. The details, the shape, the size, everything about this bag. This bag is so sexy. I mean, just, just looking at the way it looks when it's getting carried. Like, look at this bag bag is everything i love this bag um i got this from the goyard in miami um you are able to walk into the store and get these but this i got while i was in miami worst purchase the worst bag i could have ever purchased was this bottega bag uh this is their cassette bag i hate this bag I mean, listen, when I first bought this bag, I was so in love with this bag. That, like, I'm talking about, like, oh, my gosh. I was so in love with this bag. I absolutely hate this bag. Um, It just don't do it for me. I'm sorry. It just, it just don't do it for me no more. Anymore. It doesn't do it for me anymore. Like, it's cute, but, like, I would never carry this again. Shout out to my ladies who love this bag. I, I don't like this bag anymore. I carried it one time, and that is the only time I'm going to carry it. I'll probably uh, con co consign this bag. I thought I said cosign. I'll probably consign this bag. This bag was a lot of money. But I, I just, I'm not feeling it no more. I don't like this bag. Um, As far as shoes, 
We're gonna do shoes next. My best purchasing shoes. Um, I'll probably have to say the Givenchy boot. This is my best purchase. Um, I have them in a few colors. I showed you guys earlier. I have them in red. I have them in a solid black. And then I have the rain boot style. Um, this is probably the best purchase. Only because I get a lot of wear out of these. Like, I literally could wear these with athletic wear. I could wear them with jeans. This, this boot is so versatile. And I just feel like it's worth every penny. You pay about $25, $2,600 for them. But they're worth every penny. They're, they're extremely comfortable. You can wear them casually. You can wear them with athletic wear. Like, this boot is everything. This boot is sexy as hell when you put it on i get compliments about these boots like i'm I, i'm almost surprised people don't know what these are some people still don't know what these are but these are the javanchi shock lock boots this is my best purchase um <laughs> my worst purchase is so funny it's so 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 funny that you guys did not see the shoe that's actually my worst purchase when i did the walkthrough of the closet and there's a reason why that it wasn't that i was hiding them it's just that they're in a spot that you just won't even see them. And it's for a reason. This was the worst purchase. This, this right here is the worst purchase in the world. The Balenciaga Crocs. First of all, I don't know why the hell I would buy this shoe. A croc, somebody took a croc or made a platform croc, a standard croc, put their, their, these things come off. These things are removable. And they put their logo and their name on it. And I pay a pretty penny for a pair of goddamn platform Crocs. Now, how silly am I? Anyway, this this is just not... This, <laughs> this is just the worst shoe ever. Like, and not only is it the worst shoe, like, it makes me extremely tall. I don't want to be any taller than I already am. I'm 5'3". But this, this shoe, and then I, if I had a man, this shoe would make me taller than my man. Like, this shoe is just not it. And let me tell you something. This shoe is dangerous as hell. I know y'all saw when Dream Doll fell in them or somebody had them on and fell in them. Um, or I fell in them. I was in my garage getting myself out of the car and I it's like they took over. And they are very dangerous because I fucked my knee up when I wore these boots. I mean, when I wore these Crocs. These Crocs are the worst. The worst purchase ever. Um, I will consign these along with that damn Bottega bag. This is just not it. This is a waste of money. These were in one day, gone the next. Now, now that... You know, I spend the type of money that I spend. I spend it on more classic items. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get classic items. I'm not gonna go and waste my money on shit like this. This is a waste of money. Ah, uh, I hate this fucking shoe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for your time. Um, tuning in. I showed you my my best purchase, my worst purchase as far as shoes and bags. Um, so there you have it. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. And there's going to be a lot more where this came from. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Mwah.